wrap it up as a summary. Uh, the funding uh, opportunities as well as the job opportunities, these are the main crux of our discussions. And this is another opportunity the state government, Department of ITBT SNT, has got a vision group on science and technology. It's known as acronym as VGST. They do roll out uh, grants for uh, research and infrastructure, uh, quality improvement. You know, the array is kind of one end to the other. They even have small programs for developing small uh, products by the academic institutions or students. Education in India, if you look at the statistics, the stark reality is that only 7% of the students opt for higher education. And higher education, here I mean that above 18 years of education. That means from graduate level onwards. So just then think about the people who are coming to research. It's very, very, very uh, so, like this, this is one of the reasons that UBC uh, insisted that young fields and PhDs should be introduced into medical colleges. I have certain ideas, like you see, from, for example, propagating neuroscience at the graduate college level. See, for example, leave alone the students. I mean, the school students. School students, if you want, we can think of some outreach programs and things like that. And uh, if you look at the syllabus of the school. I think the, the basics of neuroscience or neuro, uh, you know, that, that part of science is covered fairly well. So now if you think of a college, uh, we can think of various avenues, especially uh, like providing uh, uh, summer schools. Summer school programs uh, mainly exclusively just for them to get an introduction into neuroscience. Uh, this is like just like SERC schools we can take up. Uh, and it is not exclusively for students alone. Even it can be a faculty improvement program for the college faculty. Uh, and also we can also exclusively have college, uh, I mean, uh, faculty improvement programs for the college faculty alone. Now, in this context, I just wanted to bring about one of the important program. Arunan is involved is the Bar uh, Barabasi mode of uh, scale-free networking. This is he being an educationist. Yeah, like he has got some funding from DST and they have got, they have formed a networking among the college level and almost with this they are able to rope almost 20,000 colleges that is their aim. Uh, so now uh, Jamuna will talk about uh, the rest of the... Thank you Dr. Bindu. Good evening everybody. Uh, if you think of neuroscience, especially the cognitive neuroscience, today it's a buzzword. People are interested in it, people talk about it, but how many of them understand? Living in this 21st century, I think we are all aware of the uh, captive influence the media has. It is, the media is like a huge powerhouse where it can be used constructively to light up thousands of houses. This is regarding the fellowship. Uh, this, there are certain fellowships available for uh, postdoctoral fellows who come, who have experience abroad and they come back to India, uh, such as the Ramalinga Swami Fellowship. Um, the fellowship grant is almost 70 to 75 pay for them. But uh, I I feel most, most of the women scientists will not be able to go abroad and come back and settle down here. The postdoctoral fellows in India, they have less than, I mean, half of the fellowship, that, I mean, they get almost half of the fellowship back, the Ramalinga Swami Fellowship. So, can we have more fellowships or similar grants? Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. It's highly discriminatory. There is a huge um, uh, movement in education globally. It's called MOOC MOOC. Uh, it's massively online um, education, uh, op or, you know, uh, ways of doing online education. Uh, it's free courseware. And uh, I have been a big votary of trying to get uh, an institution like Nimhans because we're getting a lot of funding uh, from the government. And it's kind of our uh, obligation to the society to share that at large. But I think this is a fantastic initiative and I congratulate everyone for participating so beautifully.